Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerin. We are finalizing the drainage pipes or gluing the drainage pipes um, this week. I'm trying to finish the vents that go up to the roof. And then um, I also have the inspection scheduled for the electrical to actually do the rough in inspection for that. And then the um, water um, rough in is also is also getting inspected, but not uh, as a final inspection, just from a um, a little bit of guidance. So he's gonna look at it. He's going to give me kind of an idea of what's going to happen, where we have to make changes, so that we can get the water finished too. And then he's going to help me figure out what we're gonna do for the connection to the city. In case you're wondering why I just jumped and got really scared was I was looking in the corner I heard something so I looked in the corner and I saw this black head moving up around the rafters and I for sure thought it was the four foot snake the skin of uh, the snake of the skin that we found um, a few weeks ago but then afterwards when I got down around and looked from the outside I found that it is actually some birds so I have a few shots. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's in that triangle section there. There is um, a small little bird, maybe hand height. And it's probably a turtle dove because I've had, I've seen some doves sitting at the ledge, ledges up on the, on the top of where the roofers didn't finish um, or had the soffit open up because it was all um, rotten out. So I saw them sitting there for a while. So I would assume it's some turtle doves, but uh, they are obviously so small. I really need to get that one corner finished. So I will work um, carefully around them and then we'll move on so that they are not disturbed. So since all the vent stacks and all the drainage piping is done in the first, second and third floor and I have the inspector come and give us guidance tomorrow, I still have to finish a few things for the electrical inspector that is actually doing the inspection or an inspection to finish. There is the range one that we need to run, but it, since it is kind of late today, 
I will see you guys tomorrow Monday morning. Welcome back, here it is Monday. We just finished our electrical inspection. Everything, we got the thumbs up, everything is great. Um, he actually loves all the work that we have been doing to the house. Um, and I've gotten the advice for the drainage pipes. So let's get that all finished. So maybe this week we have drainage all fully, fully complete and then really just we need to get water somewhere so we can actually have a toilet and the bathroom, uh, a whole bathroom set up again. So that while I'm working here, we actually have uh, running water. That would be really nice. So the reason I didn't mount this studio box um, further up against the ceiling was because I actually, um, you can tell maybe there are um, just a couple of the pipes left. Um, I need to put a chase, meaning the ceiling needs to be a little lower in this section where we have all these pipes hanging. So therefore I don't want to put the box up too far, uh, too far and then it's going to be in the way of the chase. So that's kind of, plus they really only have to be um, above the water level. And in this case, since I'm putting it right there where the mirror is, I want to obviously put it high, high enough for the mirror and the light not to be in the way, but uh, the box itself can be mounted there. So I had a really good time with the inspector. He looked at everything from the electrical. He was really impressed of um, the work we have done. He was really happy that we really didn't cut any corners and actually doing it up to the new code, even though theoretically based on when I um, applied for the permit, we would have fallen into the previous section of the code but um, he was really happy with what we have done he even when he looked at the um, the drainage pipes and the other 
um, a water supply areas plus the framing. He he really gave us the thumbs up. He already said, hey, this is uh, much better than uh, a lot of the contractors or fix and flippers that are doing. He really likes that we don't cut the corners and do it all from ground up really solid. Um, so from that perspective, I think we will have very little issues on the future inspections, obviously unless we do something wrong. But I think in general, he's really happy that we took down the plaster, that um, it's all open. You can actually see what's behind the walls. And um, he really thinks it's gonna be a beautiful home. And I mean, obviously we think so too. Obviously there's a lot of work left, but um, this is really a good encouragement, um, that inspection that we had with him, because obviously somebody that sees a lot of the remodels and um, fix and flip areas, um, houses that are being done here in the area, with him seeing so much of that and him giving us that compliment is really giving us a boost of motivation, of course, to just continue and um, finish it all. So my goal is for today, still finish all the drainage pipes. Um, he gave me kind of a guidance of how we should do the connecting to the, to, to the city. He also told me that the drainage for the hot water heater does not have to be connected to the um, drainage pipes. It just can be a feed um, out into the outside of the building just so that if it overflows, um, it has a way to get outside the building. So from that perspective, that's really nice. Um, the only thing, of course, is the way I'm going to do it now is the old way that um, right there at the, at the ceiling have, uh, level in the basement, which means in the future, if we ever wanted to put a shower or a toilet in the basement, we would have to either come up with some kind of pump system or um, connect to the city on a different spot. So that's the downside. But for right now, I think that's um, something we can live with and then we can figure out when we get there. This is going to be a few years down the road. So when we get there, what we're going to do, um, most likely we'll just get one of those pump systems because the likelihood of us having a lot of toilets um, in the basement is very low. So it would be mostly a shower, maybe for, um, for outside when you come in, um, in the backyard. But in general, I think we'll be okay. So we made a hole here in the wall because we need to feed a drainage pipe through. The drainage pipe that is existing is unfortunately a little too high. Um, where we are coming down from the different bathrooms, we are already half an inch lower than it was before. So therefore we just can't feed it into that same um, drainage pipe. So we made this hole so that we can feed over there into the same spot along the wall. We will go along the wall and then over on the far side, we will feed back into this pipe stack that is already there. Obviously, we will cut out the old pipe and just have ours hanging there. So I'm not connecting the new pipe right now to the old stack over here. The main reason for that is, is because I still have the sump pump that needs to run inside until I fix and 
um, make this wall here completely waterproof. So I have to dig through here, uh, make sure I get a French drain installed so that I don't have uh, long-term drainage issues uh, along the basement wall where we always have water uh, penetration. So before I fix that, I obviously need to have the sump pump still running because otherwise the water uh, would just pull up in the basement. Well, I think this is it for this week. I am exhausted. It is really hot, 100 degrees outside. And so imagine inside where well, I don't have any insulation yet. It's probably 110, 120 degrees. So I've been sweating all day and I'm exhausted. And we made a lot of progress this week with getting the electric hole fully inspected. That is all done. Pretty happy about that. Obviously there's a few little things that we still have to do there with the electric hole, but in general he was very happy with how we did it. And then he gave me kind of guidance of how he would do the water. So we're doing the drainage water exactly how he recommended. And that is almost done obviously besides the final hookup. And we will do that until um, whenever we get the wall fixed on the outside here um, where the water is penetrating right behind me all the time. So as soon as we get that fixed, we really, there's nothing that can stop us from putting in a temporary bathroom so that we can at least flush a toilet or wash our hands um, in between the workday. I hope everybody has a wonderful week and I'll see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.